All right, so you can see I've attempted this one, so I'm not go really going in blind here, but um, but yeah. Square root, I like the number and name of this one. This one's just basically you gotta make a homemade square root function without any built-in feature, um, which really should have been, I don't know if you remember that one where it was pow x to n. Um, that really should have been included for the Python thing because I was just able to return x, uh, you know, star star n. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so just make a custom square root thing and go up. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Um, so I have tried a little bit of this before and I was trying to figure out like some way to basically do it like math wise by like trying to squeak out the, um, what's it called? The... You know, like the prime factors and all that stuff. I think I was making it too hard because it's rounded down. So you know that you could just kind of tick up, tick your way up through the possible square roots, and then stop when you find one that's too big. Um. So yeah, let's just do that. Four i in range. Zero to, I mean, we know it's going to happen well before half of x, but we can just do a range of zero to x, just to give it, to, give it an end point. If i times i is greater than or equal to x, Or how about greater than, then you return, because, um, hear me out, you say i times i is greater than x. If so, then return i minus 1. We can actually, why don't we start the range from 1, because that way we can just make, it'll work for 0 as well. I think that makes sense. Basically, you're just saying. Oh, we uh, we should also include return zero. Okay, so you're just counting your way up through all the squares, and once you find once you go to over, you go one back, and that's the square. That's the square root. Makes sense to me. Let's run it. And submit. Wrong answer. So, I guess this does not factor in what if i equals 1. That makes sense because it starts at 1, but since 1 times 1 is not greater than 1, then you move on. Huh? So, 1 times 1 is not greater than one. So this shouldn't happen. So then it should go to two times two. Huh? I'm confused why that doesn't work. Oh. I see. Because it never actually reaches there. This won't work either.
Uh, you know what? I'm tired. I'll just... How about that? Use the wrong variable. Um. And submit. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Why does two not work? So let's see, that works for, oh, that's the closest I've ever gotten without getting it. Okay. One times one is not greater than X. So we go on to two, two times two No, okay, wait. Wow, this is crazy. Um, 4i in range 1 to x. It says i starts at 1. 1 is not greater than 2. So, then you say 2. 2 times 2 is greater than 2. So, you return i minus 1. Um, I think I just need to add another condition for the perfect squares. How about if I, I should have done this beforehand. If I times I, how about, square equals I times I. If square is greater than or equal to x, and then if square is greater than x, we just break it down, return i minus 1. That'll work. I guess, oh, you know what, because that doesn't, so it gets out of the loop, because it's exclusive, so it's just for that one two, okay, but that's really slow, can I get rid of this? Can I get rid of these? That'll work. Wow, that's really slow. How much slower? Wow, really slow. Uh, I mean, I guess that makes sense because it's not really, it's just kind of brute forcing it. Yeah. I mean, it's just counting up until it finds the right answer. And every single time it has to do an operation and a comparison which when you're dealing with something that runs 25 milliseconds let's see important binary search to find the square root of x initialize the search range
Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Basically, this is just a binary search. Oh, that's clever and something I should have thought of. But, you know, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm learning. If I knew all the answers, there'd be no point in me doing this. Makes sense. It's essentially a binary search with all the integers being the things you're searching. Because you're searching for the... Yeah, that makes sense. It's just a binary search and you're looking for the square root and if you don't find the square root then you just choose the, the lower of the options. Alright, well, I learned something. I hope you did as well. Thanks for watching.